First at four, Rhode Island State Trooper is at home recovering after police say his cruiser was hit while driving on Route 6. He was one of five people taken to the hospital following that crash. The investigation into what happened continues. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo has been making calls all day and has the latest details now from police. Sheena? Well, thankfully, all of the injuries in this case were only minor. However, you'll see in our video, the damage to both cars is pretty major. Rhode Island State Police called to a crash Sunday night, this one involving one of their troopers. The scene, Route 6 East in Johnston near Atwood Avenue. Police say the trooper was initially parked on a turnout. He had just entered the roadway after potentially spotting a speeder ahead of him when his cruiser was hit from behind. The crash unfolded around 920. This is part of what went over the police radios. 155, you okay? <laughs> So far, I just checking up. I think the uh, second car is uh, injuries. Five people were taken to the hospital. Several rescue crews were called in. Rescue five responded mutually to the town of Johnston for an auto accident. Our cameras captured the magnitude of the scene with red and blue lights flashing as investigators got to work. 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell, former superintendent of Rhode Island State Police, says this is just one example of why safety is always the number one priority out on the roads. That trooper in this particular case is out doing his job, mostly enforcing speed regulations. And ironic that somebody hits him at a higher rate of speed. So it's a reminder to the public. These are men and women out there doing their jobs. There's move over legislation when they see lights. And if they don't see lights, just use caution. Um, besides police on the side of the road, you might have someone helping your loved one uh, move their car. Someone's broken down. So you should be using ultimate caution on the roads. And Rhode Island State Police told me to look out for any updates that might come out of this story. For now, though, they tell me the investigation remains ongoing. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.